Hello, hello, good evening. Hello. Hello, students, how are you? Good evening. Hello, good evening. Welcome. How are you today? Wow. How was your day, my dear students? My day has normal. Normal. Your day was normal. Normal like all the days. Yes. Good, very good. Hello, ladies. Hello, Wendita, Catherine, Mr. Good evening, Edwin. Teacher. Good evening, Mr. Edwin. Hey, you are at home. That's nice. Yes. Cool. Miss Catherine, how are you? Better. Better than Hello, yesterday. Hello. <laughs> A little, a little bit better than yesterday. Well, but it is good that you are here. Hello, Janita. How are you? Hello, teacher. I am fine. And you? I am doing great. Very. Today is a very hot day. My God. It is, it is a really hot day. I feel like, like dying. Well, Mr. Jorge Antonio, welcome, Karen, Sita, and all the ones that are here. Welcome and thank you for being on time. Well, today we are going to work a little bit on the manual and we are going to be working as well on a new topic, but it's called commands. Tell me, did you have the opportunity to check on the practice? ¿Tuvieron la oportunidad de hacer la práctica que les envié? I didn't, you say, I didn't. I don't, teacher. I didn't, because it's in past, right? Ya pasó. I don't have time. I didn't have time. So that's a, a little bit of past tense, right? You say, I didn't have time. That is the past form of do. So in the normal form, you say, I do my homework, right? But if it's in past, you say, I did, I did. my homework. And if yeah. it is in negative, you say, I didn't do my homework. So those are uh, a little bit of past tenses. I think we are not going to study past tense in this module until the next one. But uh, I didn't. we can start checking a little bit on, on that topic because it is very important to, to actually check uh, new tenses, right? New things. But if you didn't have time to do it, maybe today before you go to bed, you have the chance to see it. Tal vez ahora, antes de que se acuesten, peguenle una revisadita. It was very simple, right? It was something very simple. Era una práctica bien, bien sencilla. So uh, try to check it. Try to check it and try to complete it, right? For you to, for you to review. That's that's the important part of everything. Well, let me just open my manual and I am going to start sharing my screen with you. Okay, here we go. Has it rained near your houses, chicos? Ha llovido cerca de sus casas o para nada? Son poco de mayo, nothing. En este momento empieza a llover. Oh, really? Envy. I envy you because here, nothing. <laughs> Mándenos un poquito para acá. <laughs> a little bit. Yeah, San Vicente, San Salvador. Yeah, like two hours of difference. 
It is going to be nice. Hello, Janice. Welcome. Hi, teacher. Hello. Well, so let me share the manual, right? And this is what we were doing yesterday, right? We were practicing a little bit of the adverbs of frequency, a little bit of the sentences, affirmative, negatives, interrogatives. This is everything that we were doing yesterday. But today, we are going to start our day with a little bit of interaction. Just give me one second to find the conversation. <clears throat> so imagine that you are going to be on a job interview. What questions would you ask in a job interview? Imagine that you are in a job interview. Imagínense que vamos a ir a una, vamos a hacer una entrevista de trabajo. And what are the questions that you normally do in a job interview? What are the questions that you do in a job interview or that you receive or that you answer in a job interview? The most basic ones. What are the type of questions that you answer in a job interview? What's your name? What's your name? That's the most common one, right? It's the first one, right? What's your name? What's your name? Uh -huh. Another question. Where are you from? Where are you from? Okay. Where are you from? Another one. If you don't know how to say it, tell me. Teacher, how do you say esto y esto? Huh? What is number phone? Okay, what is your phone number? Do you think that they are going to ask you that one after where are you from? ¿Le van a preguntar su número de teléfono después de where are you from? No, después de la dirección tal vez. Ok, maybe after the address, right? Let How me make... Are you? How old are you? How old are you? Very good. How old are you? How old are you? Uh -huh. Where are you from? For sure, where do you live, right? Because I am from Santa Ana, but I live in San Salvador. Uh -huh. Any other what, question? What is your profession? Okay, what is your profession? You can say, what is your profession? Good. What is your job experience? What is your job experience? You can say, I have work or I am working since I, I was 18 years old, or I have three years of experience, right? You can you can answer that. Give me another another question. Uh-huh. Another question. Basic questions. So you say, what is your name? Where are you from? How old are you? Where do you live? What is your phone number? What is your profession? What is your job experience? What is another thing that they are going to ask you in a job interview? ¿Qué más les preguntaron cuando los entrevistaron para trabajar? Ah, that's a good. Uh -huh. Do you have what? Gracias. Why do you want to work here? Because you need workers. <laughs> because you are hiding. <laughs> because you need workers. Because you need workers. Yeah, it's like. Yeah, definitely. Why do you want to work here? Uh, someone, someone gave me a question. ¿Cuál otra, Carlita? Uh, 
chévere. I have, have experience laboral. Algo así, tiene experiencia laboral. Okay, yeah, yeah, you hace. have it, you have it. What is your job experience? Ahí la tenemos. What is your job experience? What is your job experience? Eh, Janina. Referencia, referencia también, teacher. Referencia. Ah, ok. Ok. Solo que yo no sé cómo se dice. <laughs> ok. Ok, we are going to say, who is your job reference? Ok, who is your job reference? ¿Quién es su referencia de trabajo? Or your, let, let's say for your personal reference, ok? <clears throat> who is your personal reference? What is another question? I need three more questions. Don, ¿Cómo se ve dentro de cinco años? De... <laughs> Where do you see yourself in five years? Where do you see yourself in five years? Where do you see yourself in five years? <laughs> I answered one time uh, when they asked me this one. When, where do you see yourself in five years? And I said, assisting you. <laughs> The assistant is suya, lady. And I got the job. <laughs> why do you why do why do you when to leave your home? Ooh, that's a good question. Why do you want to leave your job? Why do you want to leave? my ears. <laughs> Waltercito, póngase los audífonos. Why do you want to leave your job? To grow professionally, say. Personal growth. Why do you want to leave your job? A good question that they are going to ask you because they know that you are in English Corporativo. Do you know English? Do you know English? What is your level? Mm -hmm. And now you cannot say, I don't know English. Ahora, perdón, pero ya no pueden responder, no sé. You cannot, sorry. If you can say, my name is, I am from, I am like this and this. If you can introduce yourself and you have the survival language and you can understand, you mm. cannot say, I know, I don't know English, you know? It is a little bit complicated, but I don't know. You cannot do it. You can say, I am learning. I am in basic level right now. I continue learning. That's the answer. No, I don't know English, you see? Yeah, it's a very difficult language, I know, yes. I don't know English, <laughs> in English. <laughs> it would be terrible. <laughs> so that would be like, no, no. You have to say, I am learning and I am in basic level right now. And I continue preparing myself on the language. And what is the last question? Which is your academy level? Okay, which is your academic level? That's a good question. Which is your academic level? And then here you can say uh, basic school, high school, university. Okay, you can say basic school, high school, university, or technical. That's, that's another level, right? Technical, university, high school, I don't know, if you have a master's, good. A master on progress, okay, which is your academic level and about the money. What is the question that they ask you? Do you want to uh, earn money? Algo así, quiere ganar? <laughs> For sure. Do you want to earn money? It's like, ¿quieres ganar dinero? Sure. <laughs> ¿Cuánto quieres? How many, uh -huh. how many do you want to earn money? How many? Are you sure? They're talking about money. 
How much? How much? Good. How much? No, porque uno le dice cuánto quiere ganar, no se puede contar el dinero. No, no, no. no. So you say no. how much? How much? How many? Es que si, si lo puedes contar eh, en plural, ¿verdad? Say how much money. Eso es, es una pregunta en general. ¿Cuánto dinero quieres ganar? How mm. much money do you want to make? How much money do you want to make? And here you can say over 200, over 300, over 500, over 600, over 700, over 1,000. No, over means sobre. Over 300, over 500, over 700. So that is the answer for this question. So. You created your interview, so you are going to make it. You are going to be an interviewer and the interview. And you are going to perform the job questions to your friend. I am going to, well, you're going to work with someone. You're going to work together and you're going to interview this person. And you are going to answer the questions. The person, the interviewer is going to say, well, welcome to English Corporativo. My name is Natalie and I am going to interview. The first question, what's your name? And remember that you are in a job interview. You are not going to say, Juan. You say, hi, good morning. My name is Natalie Monterrosa. Nice to meet you. Oh, thank you very much. What are you from? I am from blah, 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 blah. And you have to give correct answers, okay? And here in the part where, where you have here, who is your personal reference? You have to choose one person from the class. And you are going to say, imagine that I say, <clears throat> who is your personal reference? And I say, my personal reference is Luis Parrilla. You can call him. Ring. Hello, Mr. Luis Parrilla. Do you know Natalie? Uh -huh. I don't know. <laughs> do, do, you, do you know Natalie, Luis Parrilla? Uh -huh. I am interviewing Natalie right now. Yes. Uh, what is her profession? She is a teacher. Is she a good teacher or a bad teacher? Is an uh, excellent teacher. Ah, okay, higher. Thank you very much. <laughs> I don't need more <laughs> references, right? So you are going to choose one person in the class. Piensen bien su referencia. ¿Quién va a ser su referencia personal? <laughs> es like, sí, fíjese, nos conocimos allá en el en, en, en la Bartolina. Es buena gente. <laughs> no, that's not a good reference, right? <laughs> Después de un partido de la Alianza. Oh, no. Right? That's not a good reference, right? Like, ay, mi amiga, me acuerdo cuando íbamos a bailar a la Titanic. It's <laughs> like, what? <laughs> That's a discotheque from Santa Ana. <laughs> so, no, right? You have to think about your reference. Piensen quién va a ser, quién sería su referencia personal de este grupo. Porque cuando esté en la entrevista le voy a preguntar su referencia. <laughs> si es buena o mala. Imagine that you say like, Hey, do you know Natalie? No la contrate, me pegaba. <laughs> Who is your personal reference? And on the next one, right? What is your phone number? My phone number is this and this. What is your profession? This and this and this. Your job experience. Why do you want to work here? Because of the experience, because of the, um, of the professionalism, because of the enterprise, because of the name, because of the, I don't know, the payment. You can work there for many different reasons. Where do you see yourself in five years? In a good job, making good money, you can say. Why do you want to leave your job? Personal growth, more experience. Do you know English? What is your level? I explained you this one already. Which is your academic level? It's the one that you have. And how much money do you want to make? It's on you, right? You are going to answer this one. So you say over 
and you give me the number, right? Over 500, over 300, so whatever amount of money that you want to make, okay? So, I, my God, teacher, Nati, what did you do? Okay. <laughs> Lográndolo desde siempre. So, let me take a picture of this before I erase it again. Okay, and I'm going to send you the questions to your group. So you can have them. Si no me dicen, no tengo las preguntas, teacher. I don't know. And your friends are going to tell if you are hired or not. Vamos a ver si los contratamos o no los contratamos. There you go. So there you have the questions. Right now, I am going to send you with your couple and you are going to decide in a rock, paper, scissor battle who is going to be the interviewer. Okay, el que gane, el piedra, papel o tijera, va a ser el que va a entrevistar. <laughs> so when you go with your couple, you are going to go with rock, paper, scissor. And if you win, you interview and the other one answers, okay? Vamos a ver si jugáramos un rock, paper, scissors con Edwin Mauricio. Vamos a ver. Edwin Mauricio, let's see who, who will be the winner. Go, Edwin. Oh. Vamos a ver. Rock, paper, scissors, go. <laughs> Another one. Rock, paper, scissors, go. Ah, <laughs> go on. Rock, paper, scissors, go. I go. <laughs> no, we don't win. Another one. Rock, paper, scissors, go. Hey, you won. <laughs> I got paper. So in this case, Edwin will be the interviewer and I will be the person who answers the questions. Okay. Ahí el que gane su, su piedra, papel o tijera en el grupo. I don't know. So uh, let's go to work. Let's go to work. And you are going to answer the questions. Remember that for this one, we don't need a lot of preparation because the answers should be normal and personal, right? Aquí no hay preparación de preguntas porque la información es suya. So you just need to answer the most honest way possible. And let me see. Okay. There you go. I am going to create the rooms. Danny is going to get the teacher. Okay, hello, Danny. For running. Holy power of the guacamole. Yeah, it's going. It's going. <laughs> I was like, yeah. Who's that one? Danny is in classes. <laughs> he was just running there. Let me see. And I am going to move Normita here. Okay, so I have couples, couples, couples. Okay, hello, Dennis. We are working on job interviews and we are going to be in couples. The person, uh, one person in the couple is going to be the interviewer and the other one is going to be the interview. So uh, these are the questions and you are going to answer the best uh, way possible in a very honest way, okay? We are in couples right now. The questions are also in your group, okay? There you have the groups. We are going to work in couples. Accept my invitation. Okay, Victor Manuel, did you receive my invitation? Very good. Edwin, lo agregué con los dos dispositivos. Yes. Hola, este. Yo estoy conectado con dos dispositivos y estoy en dos, en dos salas. Ok, ahorita te arreglo, espérate. 
¿Y por qué tenés el otro dispositivo? ¿No te funciona esto? Es que, ajá, es que estaba con, con mi teléfono para uno y con, con la tablet para video. Okay, Pero no, no me sale tu cámara. Bueno, sí, ya te veo. Quiero Sí, ver. la... Con Karen estoy en una. Ah, ok. Entonces podemos mover, te voy a mover para acá. Te voy a mover para acá. Acá, para esta sala y voy a mover a Karen con Recording voy a mover a Karen con con Edwin lo voy a mover Ahí está. Hoy sí, ¿verdad, Borja? Sí, hoy sí. Ok, perfecto. Gracias. Ok. Excelente. Ok, gracias. Perfecto. Ok, let's work. Gracias. Ok, ok. Piché. Dime. Yes. Este, ¿y quién va a hacer las preguntas y quién va a hacer la respuesta? ¿O nosotros escogemos? No sé quién va a ganar el piedra, papel o tijera. Ah, vamos a jugar. <ríe> ok, go, go, go. One, two, three. <ríe> to see if you... Ok, a la cuenta okay. de tres, a la cuenta de tres, sacan lo que van a, lo que van a poner. Ok, vamos, Walter. One. Okay. Vamos, vamos. One, two, three, go. Walter, <ríe> no lo vi. ¿Qué sacó? <ríe> sí, stars. Tijera. Ah, Walter is going to make the questions. Okay, Walter makes the questions. Okay. Yo pregunto. Yes. Salvador. Hello. Are you from El Salvador? Mm. Hello, teacher. Ustedes tienen adoptada a Karencita, okay? Así que Karen puede ser la. Aquí está. Hola, Karen. El que no habla. Hola. Pero aquí... Pero aquí no se ve ella. Ah, no se ve. Aquí está, Karencita. Karencita que salga de la oscuridad hoy para... <risa> no, ah, ni para Edwin. Ver. Edwin... Eh, es que yo, es que, teacher, es que a veces me manda al teléfono y por eso no me veo. Y como Pero tengo logré, la... en las, logré en las dos. No salgo, no. Pero tengo... Ah, si es que en el otro no me carga, ya lo vi el celular. La foto no me sale porque la ¿Cómo va a carga el celular, no sé por qué. Vale, entonces ahí se pueden hacer preguntas. Bueno, nos arreglamos nosotros. Ahí, you can, you can ask each other, ¿ok? okay. Karen puede ser la referencia personal. <risa> ok, good, good. Practice, continue, ¿ok? Ok. Este, vaya, entonces, Karen, Karen. Ajá. Who is making the questions? <laughs> ¿Quién ganó el piedra, papel o tijera? Todavía no andamos jugando. Ah, ¿Cómo es? <laughs> Primero estamos respondiendo. <laughs> the, the more, no, you, you have to do it first to see who is going to make the questions and who is going to make the answers. So, por ah, eso sí. tenían que jugarlo primero para ver quién era el entrevistador y quién era el que era, iba a ser entrevistado. Ah, bueno. Entonces, Cristian. Uh -huh. <laughs> one, two, three. <laughs> On the count of one, two, and three, go. <laughs> Dale. <laughs> the Luis is the winner. So you make the questions, Luis, and Cristian is going to answer. Okay? So, ¿Serían todas las preguntas o vamos a escoger? You can ask the, all the questions. No son muchas en realidad. You, you can, or if you want to jump any of them, si se quiere saltar alguna, it's okay. No problem. Okay. Okay, good, good, good. Aha. Uh -huh. Who is the one making the questions? ¿Quién ganó el piedra, papel o tijera? ¿Dónde estamos las preguntas? No, eso es lo, eso <laughs> es lo primero. Eso es lo primero porque así saben quién pregunta y quién responde. Ah, ah. 
Okay. Uh, let's, let's, do it. let's do it. Vamos a hacerlo ahorita, right now. Manita, manita, manita en cámara. Vamos a ver. Okay. Vamos, manita en cámara. One, two, three, go. Ay, no, no. No, 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 no. Okay. One, two, three, go. <laughs> no, nadie gana. Vamos. De una vez saquen lo que van a, lo que van a poner. One, two, three, go. <laughs> ah, ah. Norma. Norma got the rock and Catherine. So, Catherine, you're going to answer and Norma, you're going to make the questions, okay? Norma makes the question. Norma makes the questions and you answer. Norma pregunta. Uh -huh, no, yes. no, Norma uh -huh. is going to make the questions. And you are going to answer the questions. Okay, la que viene a pedir trabajo es Kate. Yes, you can do it. Vamos, vamos, vamos. You can do it. Go, go, go. Teacher. Yes. Hi, thank you so much. Hello. Vengo en un segundo. Espérenme que deje alguien con la palabra en la boca. I will come, I will come back in a second. Don't worry. I will come back. Ajá. Uh -huh. Yes. Cuando me, dijo, cuando me dijo, teacher, ya le había dado un libro a otra sala. Ya había ido la teacher. <risa> no, no, teacher. Y, y aquí donde es, where are you from, es um, El Salvador o es la ciudad que uno se puede decir. You can say, I am from La Libertad, I am from Santa Ana. Y aquí, y aquí donde dice, where do you live? Where do you live? ¿Dónde vives? Porque uh -huh. I, I was giving you the example. I am from Santa Ana, but I live in San Salvador. Uh -huh. So that's different, right? I am from Santa Ana, but I live in San Salvador. You can say, I am from San Vicente. Y ahí, am, si usted vive ahí también, ya no hace la siguiente pregunta. Ah. So, uh -huh. Sí, porque es, es mi duda. Where are, where, where are you from, Catherine? Mm, Santiago de Nuevo. And where do you live? Mire. Uh -huh. pues, y, y para contestarle, I am from... I am from Santiago Nanualco. Yeah, I am from Santiago Nanualco. Yeah. And where do you live? Vives ahí siempre. De ahí sí, era, y ahí siempre. So, entonces ahí ya Normita sí. ya no le hace la siguiente pregunta, de where do you live? Uh -huh. Ah, uh -huh. o sea que por si me he mudado. Ajá, uh -huh, exactly. Like me. Uh -huh, ya, no, toda big, mi vida, toda mi vida aquí. En Santiago Nanualco. Ok, good. Sí. So that's, that's when it's different, right? When it is different, cuando se han cambiado de lugar, sí siempre se les pregunta, ¿verdad? Do you live uh, in, a, in a different place? Where do you live? Right? And, and then you answer that question. Okay? So, practice, practice, practice. I will come back. Hoy sí me voy, okay? Bye. Gracias. Bye, bye. <laughs> okay, now I am leaving. Okay. It's bad. What is your okay. English level? Why? What is your English level? My English level is basic. Basic, 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 basic. Teacher, yep. La pregunta que está antes de si sabe inglés. Why do you want to live 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 your job? Ah, why do you want to leave your job? Porque quieres dejar tu trabajo. So maybe you have another job right now. Si tienes otro trabajo ahorita, why do you want to leave your job? Ah, ah, por eso no no, no, no. So that's a that's a, a general question. If you want to make it, it's okay. If not, it's okay not to do it. Because uh, maybe in some cases people don't have another job when they are looking for one. Así que este no es su caso. Ustedes no van a dejar ningún trabajo. no va a estar hablando. <laughs> no, no, you are not going to leave your job. Sí, dicen que es muy bonito. Ah, oh, sí, el ambiente laboral, sí. Ah, o sea, yo sé que es pesadísimo, pues me imagino, pues, pero. La verdad, sí. Ajá. Pero sí, es mmm, bastante bueno. A mí me gusta. Mm. Mm, me gustaría jubilarme, pero también me gustaría tener. Eh, como una mejor aspiración. Exactly like that. Do you see? Ten <laughs> years in the same in the same place. So 
It's good, definitely. Si ha durado It's tanto, algo Pero bueno, bueno, algún sí, secreto hay. <risa> ok. Imagine. So, no, Jan Janira, pues... how old are you right now? ¿Cuántos años tienes ahorita? 29. Ay, my God, you are missing like 30 to, to, no. uh, to retire. Ya me, ya me veo más grande. No, 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 but I mean, you say like, me quiero jubilar. O sea, like, te faltan como 30. <laughs> mm, pero de edad, de años trabajado, no, solo 15. Ah, ok, so. Sí, Ay, y bueno, bueno. cuando yo ya tenga mis 15 años trabajado, pues vamos a trabajar en línea y vamos a viajar por el mundo. Oh, so nice, that's good. Y Denis, yo aquí tan soltero. Oh, no creo que mi baby te quiera llevar, Denis, pero vamos a ver. Que nos invite, ¿verdad, teacher? For sure, I love to travel. I, I, I can join you, definitely. A mí me encanta viajar, así que... Démosle. Let's go. Concert, concert, Adele, allá vamos. Yes. Yeah, Adele's concert. Let's go. Ya me dijo Denis, yo no sé. Ya, ya voy a ir a ese concierto. Bien, me invita, yo no sé. Ok, bueno. practice the questions. <ríe> si no, ya lo voy a mandar y ustedes sin contestar nada. Practice. <ríe> Todavía no falta. Go ahead, go ahead. Practice, practice. In the Taylor area. Está bueno. Está uh -huh. bueno. <ríe> Está bueno. What is, what is good? Ajá. Uh -huh. Ah, puedo preguntarle a la teacher. Eh... Who is the interviewer? Sure, uh -huh. And what is your whole experience? What uh, is your what is your work experience? Sería worse. What is your no work? Work. What is your work experience? In that... Le ha puesto, le ha puesto job. Dice job experience. Ah, job. It's okay. It's the same. Job and work. It's the same. What is your job experience? In that case, you can yeah. say three years, my, four years, five years. My job experience is, and then you can say, I have work for three years, four years, five years. Okay. Puedes decir, si ya trabajaste en varios lugares, I have worked in uh, Hiboa for 10 years. I have worked in, uh, I don't know. Uh, Haynes Brown for 11 years and then you answer or if you want to give only the years of experience you say I have 11 years of experience I have 20 years of experience I have 19 years of experience okay so that's the so, answer if you I ask really, I have uh... Yo tengo, y lo otro estamos pidiendo, my job experience is for year in the Taylor area. Okay, that's even better, right? Ah, pues, that's an, a better answer. Tengo... Ajá. Se le fue la conexión. Se nos fue la conexión. No, ahí está. Se movió, se movió. <risa> es que se le dio cortado, dicho. Es que creo que es, es tu intro. Se bugueó. Creo que es tu inter porque se nos queda trabado. Yeah. Ok, Jorge, it's good. A mí me parece sus barritas en amarillo, rojo. Ay, no, ya ve. Está, está, ¿cómo se llama? Eh, le habíamos puesto, bueno, yo le había puesto My, my own sparing is for Four years. Yeah. In tailoring. In the tailor area. Very good area. job. Area, area. Taylor, teacher. In the tailoring area. Yes, Diego. La referencia personal que puede ser cualquiera, tiene que ser del grupo. Ya, ¿sí? de alguien del grupo. <laughs> a mi mamá le va a traer aquí. ¿no? <laughs> <laughs> so, if she gives me the reference, bring your mother. Si me da la referencia en inglés, bring your mother. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You can say, He is a good song. <laughs> He is a good person. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Very good. Continue practicing, please. And I am going to come back. Ya ves, se nos fue Jorge de nuevo. Jorge, se nos trabó. Se nos fue. Se nos fue Jorge. Jorge. 
Thank you, teacher, for la ayuda. Ok, ok, ya volvió. No, hi, hi. Hi. Uh, welcome, de ese modo. Hi, welcome, how are you? Who is the interviewer? Hi, welcome, how are you? ¿Quién es el, inter... ¿Quién es el entrevistador? Yo. Eh... No. Ah, you won. <laughs> Edwin ganó. Okay, and Johnny's, <laughs> you are the interview. Okay, so you are going to answer the yes, questions. Yes, teacher. Okay, you are going to answer the questions. Good. Excellent. Practice, please, because we only have three minutes left. Solo nos quedan cuatro minutos. Tres, cuatro minutos. Hey, and Johnny's, lo perdimos. <laughs> lo perdimos a Johnny. Justo para la práctica. Justo se nos fue, mire, para la práctica. Quizás está lloviendo. Johnny's. Ahí está. Ha ah, vuelto. Fíjate que se me, se me fue el inter. No, ya, yeah, ya. Yeah. You are back. Don't worry. Ya estás de vuelta. Sí, es que estaba, estaba bastante lento el internet. Yeah, maybe it's because of the rain. Quizás porque ya va a llover. Sí, está, está un poco nublado, pero no hay bebé. Solo, Solo pringuitas. Sí, y vea que nadie más en la casa esté conectado al internet, porque eso sí está inestable. Y otro está viendo TikTok, alguien está viendo Facebook y todo, le come todo no, el ancho de banda. No. Ahorita, ahorita no, ahorita no. Bueno, so, practice, ok. Practiquen antes de que se nos vaya, Johnny. <ríe> go, go, go. Practice, practice, okay. practice. Me voy viendo, me voy viendo. Go ahead. Entonces ahí tengo que hacer una pausa. Donde, para que vos preguntes esa ayuda mm. porque es dos preguntas en una Hello. do you know English? hello teacher Ajá. I know English a little bit <laughs> okay. a little bit Solo, a lo que le queríamos preguntar Ajá. me recuerdo que cuando dijeron que teníamos que nombrar el número de teléfono era de tres en tres ¿verdad? depending So you can you can do it individually. Imagine if you say, uh, "What is your phone number?" Seven four three five 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 four two. Twenty-three, thirty-two, twenty-six. Okay, okay, okay. You are giving the one of the office. <laughs> Aquí me puede llamar. No. Ahí, ahí me buscan en todos y igual. <laughs> okay. Yo le puse que era otra cosa, hermano, que trabajo. No, it's okay. It's okay. It's it's your interview. You can invent as, Podría... as much as you want. Teacher, teacher. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, para decir 23, 30, 26. 23, 30. Ajá. 2, 3. Ajá. 3, 0. O 3, 3, 0. Right? 2, 3, 3, 0. What is the other one? 2, 76. 1, 2, 7, 6. Ah, okay. You can go individually with the phone numbers. You can go individually, and there's no problem. Okay. So you can say two, three, three, zero, oh, right? And you can go but one by one. The only one that changes is the zero that says it's O. Oh. Okay. oh. Yes, that's the only one that oh. changes. Okay. So practice. We have three minutes left. No quedan solo tres minutos de práctica. Go, 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 go. Practice. No. <laughs> Okay, students are going to come back in a couple of minutes from the groups to present their job interviews. Let's see. I 
porque ando buscando nuevas oportunidades, me imagino yo, algo así. Ah, sí, un be... No hay que pensar mucho, no hay que buscarlo. Because I am looking for new opportunities. I was listening to your conversation. <laughs> Because, Because I am looking for new opportunities. Ando buscando nuevas oportunidades. Because I am looking for new opportunities. Because I am looking a new opportunity. I am looking for. For new. I am looking for new opportunities. Opportunities. Because I am looking for new opportunities. Okay, so do you have your answers? Ya tienen sus respuestas? No falta, teacher, todavía tres más. Which ones? Do you want, do you, do you know English? What uh -huh. is your label? Do you know English? That, that's like an easy answer, right? Yes, I do. I am in basic level. Tú soy inglés. Intermedio le pongo. You can say, yeah, for sure, if you want. In, in... Nivel básico. No, básico. Just, I am in basic. Basic. Ah, basic. Basic. Si dijo basic, lo mando a basic. <laughs> <laughs> I am in basic level. I am in basic level. Mm -hmm. Or you can say, I am learning. I am in basic level right now. I just, I do. I am basic level. I am in basic level. I am in, in basic level. Yes. In basic level. Yes, very good. But is, which is your academic level? Solo basic, lo mismo, basic no, level. you can say, no, if, what is your ah, academic, academic level? Ah, sí. Ajá, High school, university, technical. High school, sería. No, academia al nivel. No, ¿cuál es tu High nivel school academic? Es bachillerato. High school is bachillerato, eh, university or technical. High school. Bachillerato, ¿cómo sería? High school. High school. High school. High school. Yes. High school. Okay. So we are about to go back. Okay. Practice the last time. Practiquen la última y nos vamos. Ya nos fuimos. <risa> yes, you are here. No se vale. Porque terminamos. Ya estábamos casi terminando. Nos quedamos en corto. Eran cinco minutos más. <risa> Come on. <risa>
<laughs> Two <laughs> questions. No, it's a in a job interview. You don't know the questions. How much money do you want to make? How much money do I want to make? Over nine hundred. <laughs> Over. Over nine hundred. Over. Y cuando le dice arriba de 900, nosotros le llamamos, no se preocupe. Pero los valgo. Me too. More than that. No. I, am, I am worth, you say. I am worth. Eso es. Yo los valgo. I am worth. I am okay. worth. I am worth. Okay. No, valgo. Ah, no. no. No hay. ¿Cómo se llama? It's uncountable. It's uncountable, definitely. There is no amount of money that it's going to give me how much I want to make. Ronald Two, is accountable. Four, six, eight, ten. Okay. I have the ten papers here. I feel like in the classroom. Twenty three. Oh. Okay, good, 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 good. <laughs> Let me make the papers from one to ten. Okay, before the job interviews, I am going to call the attendants. Ah, no, I, I missed that one. Esa no faltó. What are your abilities? What are your abilities? YouTuber. <laughs> I am good. I am, a, I am a YouTuber. A TikToker. You see? <laughs> Heroico. Four stars. I am the second beautiful heart. Soy la segunda corazón de I am, I am a TikToker. <laughs> okay, well, before everything happens, I am going to call the attendance. And remember, when you listen to your name, say here or present, okay? <coughs> so let's go here with Cristian Eduardo Rodriguez. Cristian Eduardo. Sí. Present. Ah, present. <laughs> ah, es que ya ven por qué no me enamoro yo. Denis Gerardo. Presente. Diego José. Presente. Edwin Ernesto. Presente. Edwin Mauricio. Presente. Johnny Vladimir. Presente. Jorge Antonio. Presente. Karen Lisset. Present. Carla Patricia. Present. Catherine Rosibel. Present. Luis Humberto. Yes, Norma Yavilet. Present. Ronald Ulises. Present. Víctor Manuel. Presente. Walter Enrique. Presente. Wendy Beatriz. Presente. Yanira Isabel. Present. Hey, second day in a row with perfect attendance, people. Congratulations. Llevamos dos días de asistencia perfecta. Very good job. Yay. I like that one because you have the opportunity to learn. Así nadie se queda sin oportunidad de aprender un mundo. So that's very good. Okay. I am going to make the raffle to see who is going to do the interview today. Vamos a ver quiénes van a hacer la entrevista el día de hoy. I have nine and 10. Okay, I have 10 papers and 10 rooms. Okay, tenía 10 salones y 10 papeles. So, I am going to put all the papers in the box. Okay, I have all the papers here in the box. And I am going to choose. <laughs> Uy, chichi, no le peguen al niño. Room number one, ok. Teníamos en la sala uno, teníamos a. Eh, ah, no, no teníamos sala uno. Entonces, no, vamos a quitar. En la sala dos teníamos a Edwin, Karen y Víctor. Sala tres, Katherine y Norma. Sala cuatro, Walter y Wendy. Sala cinco, Cristian y Luis. Sala 6, Denis y Yanira. Sala 7, Carla y Ron. Sala 8, Diego y Jorge. Sala 9, Edwin y Johnny. Y en la sala 10 no teníamos a nadie. Entonces vamos a sacar la 10 también. Ok. Good. Let's see who's going to be the participant for today. Vamos a sacar 3 para hoy. And 3 for tomorrow. Today. 
it's going to be for chan 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 room number six room number six Dennis y Yanira ese es un nueve al revés no, it's a six. Okay, Denny, Yanira, you are, you are the first ones. Vamos a ver los número dos. Number two is number nine. That is Edwin and Johnny's. And the last one. Chan, chan, chan. Room number three. That is room number three is... Catherine y Norma. And the last one. Vamos a sacar uno, un último para hoy. Number five. Number five, Cristian y Luis Parrilla. <laughs> ok, para mañana nos queda en la sala ocho. La sala ocho que era Diego Bien. y Jorge. Yeah. Para mañana queda Carla y Ronald. También, let me see, number four. Uh -huh, agradecido con el de arriba. Walter y Wendy. And for tomorrow, Edwin, Karen y Victor. These are for tomorrow, okay? So for today, let's start with Dennis and Jani. Go ahead. Action. Teacher, no pone las preguntas. Ahorita, right now. You see, it's because you are the, the, the favorite of the teacher. <laughs> you are the teacher's favorite, definitely. So that's why. Let me copy the questions on a document. Yes. Okay, and here we go. I'm going to show you the questions, okay? I think you can see them. Let me share it. And here we go. Okay. Who is the interviewer? ¿Quién es el que entrevista? It's a well. Okay. Señorita Isabel, ya vino el muchacho. Te lo hago pasar. Por favor, me pasa. <laughs> Mr. Dennis, Mr. Dennis, Janira is going to receive you right now. Thank you. Coffee, water, something, Mr. Dennis. Do you want coffee or water? Nothing? Yeah. <laughs> Nothing. Wine? Give, give me tea. Tea, okay, tea. Okay, he wants tea. Good, continue. Now you can start, Miss Janine. Go ahead. Okay. Hello, good morning. What's your name? Hello, good morning. My name is Dennis Gerardo Vasquez Garcia. <clears throat> Where do you from, Dennis? I am from El Salvador. How old are you? I am 24. 24 year olds. Where do you live? I live in Santiago, Nonualco. What is your phone number? My phone number is 7350 8356. What is your profession? My profession is contable technic. Good. What is your job experience? My experience is warehouse assistant. Why do you want to work here? I need new experience. Who is your personal reference? It's Mauricio Comayagua. Okay, give me a second. <clears throat> ring, ring. Mr. Mauricio, how are you? Hello, how are you? Hello, I need references about uh, Denis Gerardo. Is he a good person? Good, very good. He is very good. Okay, do you know him very well, a little bit or nothing? Do you know him very well 
a little bit or nothing? Okay. <laughs> Diego. Very well. <laughs> si lo conoce. Very well. A little bit or nothing? Si lo conoce un poquito o mucho. Uh -huh. O nada. O nada. <laughs> Nice. Very well. Yes, two years. <laughs> three years, okay, three years. Good. Uh, Edwin, do you recommend Dennis for the job? Yes. Okay, thank you. Miss Janita, they say that he is good. So continue the interview. Thank you. <laughs> Where do you... Where do you see yourself in five years? I see manager in five years. Why do you want to leave your job? For much money and new ambient or new experience. Good. And do you do you English, Dennis? Yes, I do. What is your level? My level English is basic. <laughs> Which is your academic level? What? Where? Which is your academic level? My academic level is high school. How much money do you want to make? Over 500 per month. Thank you very much, Dennis. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Dennis. We are going to call you, okay? Be pendant of your phone. Thank you very much, a clap for your friends. They did a very good job, very good job. Okay, un aplauso para sus compañeros, Luisa, muy bien, very good. They were the first ones, right? He was like, <laughs> they were kind of nervous. Mr. Edwin and Johnny's. Janis is the interviewer, right? Janis, usted entrevista? Yes. Ah, no, Edwin. Edwin. Okay. Uh -huh. eh, licenciado. <laughs> ya vino don Johnny. <laughs> Mr. Janis is here. Uh, and he's going to, to come and he's going to pass right now. Okay. Mr. Janis, eh, Lick Edwin is going to receive you right now. Go ahead. Do you want water, coffee? Okay something uh, no nothing uh, thanks nothing. thanks okay go ahead mr edwin mr jones hi welcome what's your name hi my hi. name is johnny Ronio. where are you from mr jones I'm from El Salvador. How old are you? I have 25 years. Where do you live? I live in Zacatecoluca. What is your phone number? 22, 22. What is your profession? I am quality auditor. What is your job experience? I have seven years of experience. Why do you want to work here? I want to have more experience. With your personal reference? My personal reference is Win Gallegos. Oh, okay. I am going to call him right now, Mr. Edwin. Ring. <clears throat> Ring. Hello. <laughs> Mr. Edwin, how are you? This is Natalie from Inglés Corporativo. I want to ask for some references about uh, Mr. Johnny's Donio. Do you know him? Yes, 
I know him. He's a very person. He's a very good person. He's intelligent, uh, applicate, uh, he's a very good person. Okay. Do you recommend him to work with us? Of course, I recommend him. Okay. How many years have you met Mr. Johnny's? ¿Cuántos años mm. tiene de conocerlo? Mm, five years. Five years. Do you know him very well, a little bit or nothing? A little bit. Okay, good. Thank you very much, Mr. Edwin. Bye-bye. Okay. Okay, <clears throat> Licenciado Edwin, they say that he's good for the job. So you can continue interviewing him. Okay, thank you. Where do you see yourself in five years? Uh, with more experience, With, why do you want to leave your job? Why do you want to leave your job? Lo perdimos. He doesn't want the job. <laughs> he's back, he's back. <laughs> Quizá ya se fue para otra entrevista. <laughs> Now he's here. He's back. Uh, 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 aquí voy a responder. More experience with, within the company. Okay. What do you want to leave your job? For no, personal he's... superation. Do you know English? What is your level? Yes, I know. Yo, know, my level is basic. Base. Which is your academic level? High school level. How much money do you want to make? Over 400. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Jones. Thank We you, Mr. Him. We will call you Mr. Johnny's. You are on our top selection. Please be pendant of your phone. Thank you very much. Nice, very good job. Yay, another survivor. Very good job. Reactions for your friends. Excellent job, the one they did. Now let's receive Norma and Catherine. <laughs> Miss Norma, there is Miss Catherine outside for the interview, okay? So she's going to come right now. Ahorita la paso. Okay. Uh, hello, Miss Catherine. Uh, Lick Norma is going to receive you right now. Do you want coffee or water? Coffee. <laughs> coffee, okay. I am going to bring it to you right now. So, uh, Miss Norma, you can start with the interview. Thank you. Here you have your coffee. <laughs> Action. Go ahead. Virtual. <laughs> okay, there, there you go. <laughs> go. Hello, good morning. What's your name? Hello, what's your name? My name is Catherine Rosy Olmeja. Where are you from, Catherine? I am from Santiago de Nuevo Arco. How old are you? I, I have um, 28 years. What is your phone number? My, my phone number is seven one two seven five six one two what is your profession um uh, i am a secretary what is your job experience Uh, I know had experience. Where do, 
Why do you want to work here? Uh, um, to have experience in making money. <laughs> <laughs> What, what is your personal reference? Um, I personal reference Berto Manuel Garcia. <laughs> Mr. Manuel Garcia. <laughs> chan, chan, chan. <laughs> uy, 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 don't die. Mr. Victor Manuel. Ring. <clears throat> Mr. Victor Manuel. Sí. Hello, good evening. I, I want to ask for some reference about Catherine. Do you know Catherine? Conoces a Catherine? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Is she a good person? Yes, is very good person. Okay. Do you recommend Catherine for the job? Yes. <laughs> yes. Do you know Catherine very well? A little bit or nothing? No, no entendí, pero la verdad. Okay, listen. Do you know Catherine? ¿Conoces a Catherine? Very well. Very well. Sería como súper bien. A little bit. Un poco. Or nothing. Para nada. So what would you choose? Creo que very good. Very well. Okay. Thank you. Very, Mr. Good. very good. Thank you, Mr. Victor. Okay. Miss Norma, they say that she's good for the job. Not too much reference, but she's good. Okay. Continue with the interview. Thank you. Where do you see yourself in five years? Uh, we were experience. We do you want to leave your job? <coughs> I have no hope. No tiene, ¿cuál para dejar? Do you know English? Um, yes, in basic or level. Basic, basic. Which is your academy level? Uh, I only has in school. Okay. How much money do you want to make? Um, <coughs> I I um, I five on hundred. Five hundred. <laughs> Okay. okay, thank, thank you, you, Catherine. Thank you very much. Thank <laughs> you. <Nora. laughs> we, we will call you. Okay, thank you, Catherine. Claps for Catherine and Norma. Very good job. Very good job. Excellent. Reactions for your friends, people. Our last couple for today is Mr. Luis and Christian. <clears throat> uh, Licenciado Parrilla. There is yes. a person waiting for you. His name is Christian. He's going to have an interview today. Uh, Mr. Okay. Christian, are sí. you ready? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you. <laughs> uh, Lick Parrilla is going to receive you right now. Do you want coffee, water, soda, tea, anything? No, no nada. No okay. quiero. <laughs> no quiero nada. <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay. I, I will get the coffee, don't worry. Mr. Luis, you can start the interview. Okay, thank you. Hello, good morning. What's your name? Hello, good morning. Uh, my name is Christian Rodriguez. Where are you from? I'm from El Salvador. How old are you then, Christian? Repeat, please. <laughs> How old are you? Oh, I am... 29 years old. Where do you live? I live in San Rafael Obrajuelas. What is your phone number? Uh, my number phone is 73 um, 94 48 07. What is your profession? My profession is farmer. 
What is your job experience? Um, I have six years experience. What I have a system. Why do you want to work here? Uh, <laughs> because they say it is the best place to work. Okay. What is your personal reference? My personal reference is Dennis Garcia. Ajá. Ahorita le, permítame. Ring, ring, ring. No contesta, don Dennis. Sin servicio. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Dennis. How are you? We're calling you from Inglés Corporativo. This is Natalie. Uh, I want to ask you for some references. Okay. Do yes. you know Do you know Mr. Cristian Rodriguez? Yes, I know. Okay, where do you know him from? ¿De dónde lo conoce? Uh, my work. From work. Okay. How from many work. How many years uh, have you met Mr. Christian? Oh, three years old. Three years. Okay. Do you recommend him to work in our company? What? Do you recommend him to work in our company? Yes, I recommend because it's a perfect person, so good uh, for the work. And <laughs> it's wrong. <laughs> it's good. Okay, thank you very much, Mr. Dennis. We appreciate your answer. Have a good night. Thank you. Thank you. Listen to Parrilla. They say that he's very good. So I can't, I think that we should continue with the interview. Thank you. Continue. Christian, where do you see yourself in five years? Um, I see myself in a better position. Okay. Why do you want to leave your job? Repeat. <laughs> Why do you want to Why leave your you job? Leave your job? Um, the salary is very little. <laughs> okay. okay. Very honest. <laughs> <laughs> do you know English? I am learning English. What is your level? My level is basic. 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 Which is your academy level? My academy level is Bachelor. 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 How much money do you want to make? Determine what is important to you. Thanks for your thanks. <laughs> we will okay. for you. Okay, nice, nice interview. Very good job, very good job, my dear students. Excellent answers. You see, Christian gave very smart answers, right? Why do you want to work here? Because they say it is the best place to work. Huh? Why do you want to leave your other job? Because the salary is little, right? The salary is low. That one maybe I wouldn't say, right? To improve my academic experience to improve my personal life something like that but it was very good excellent job for the interviews of today si las de hoy fueron buenas las de mañana tienen que ser mucho mejores porque van a tener más tiempo yeah. de practicar <laughs> so, no era ventaja no era ventaja pasar hoy o mañana pasemos hoy we are going to do it tomorrow we are going to cover the second part of the class and uh, it was a very good thing, right? It was a very good practice. And this type of practice is something that you make in intermediate or in advanced. But I want to, I love to challenge my students, right? Estas prácticas son las que se hacen allá por intermedio, allá por el inicio de avanzado. But you see, in basic, so like, ¿y qué los pone a hacer teacher Nati? <laughs> Entrevistas de trabajo. <laughs> really? Yes. <laughs> because I know you can do it. Well, Let's move on business for the second part of this one. And we're going to work a little bit on the class. I have the quote of today and Mr. Edwin is going to help me to read. 
Mr. Edwin. ¿Cuál de los dos? Edwin Ernesto Gallegos. Attitude is a little thing that makes a big difference. Okay, attitude is a little thing that makes a big difference. What does it mean to you? ¿Qué significa para ustedes la frase del día? Attitude is a little thing that makes a Las big difference. Las pequeñas cosas hacen la grande diferencia. Exactly, yeah, that can be a very good definition. Another one, What what is another thing that you can get from the quote of the day? ¿Algo más que podemos sacar de la frase del día? Que hay que pensar positivo siempre. We have to be positive all the time. Good, very good. But it says attitude. It's a little thing that makes a big difference. <laughs> Who gives me the definition of that? Que tal vez para nosotros una pequeña cosa no sea como de gran impacto, pero al final sí hace la gran diferencia. Okay, it can make a, a big difference. You know, the meaning of this phrase is attitude. What is attitude for you? ¿Qué es la actitud para ustedes? Es la manera con la que afrontamos las cosas. Que es exactly like that. It's the way you face things. Es la manera que usted afronta las cosas. And it says attitude, it's a little thing that makes a big difference. La actitud es una pequeña cosa que hace una gran diferencia. Exactly like that. Very good job, Luis. That's the definition of the uh, phrase of the day. And what is, what does it say to me? Imagine, you work all the day. Right? Ustedes trabajan todo el día. Su trabajo es muy duro. Yo lo comprendo. Yo trabajo todo el día. Pero imagínense que yo dijera, ay no, qué cansancio, ay, no voy a dar clase, no quiero. But I say, hey, I enjoy the class. I like it. I, I love to be with my students. I really like I, when they learn, right? Yo disfruto que ustedes aprendan y todo. So my attitude is different. And I say, I am going to teach the class. You know, I'll teach any class. It's going to be the best of the night. So that's the attitude. And if you say, I know it's going to be the best of the English and all, but I'm going to do the best I can. I'm going to force it. I'm going to work. I'm going to do the tasks. Puede hacer lo que, lo que pueda. The attitude. It's going to make a difference. But if you say, ay, no, es que eh, Don Edwin habla mejor que yo. Así que no. Ay, no, es que Catherine es más, es más busa que yo. No. So that's not the good attitude. Right? You have to be the best. ¿Quién es el mejor de la clase? Yo. Yo puedo. Yo sé y yo lo haré. So attitude. Attitude is going to be the thing that is going to make a difference. So good attitude every day. We're going to study a little bit of the imperatives or the commands. That is a very popular thing in Salvadorian mothers. What is a command in El Salvador? Ponete la chancleta, recoge los zapatos, andale a comer al chucho, saca al chucho, limpia la cama, hace la tarea, contestaré a teacher Nato. Those are commands or imperatives. What are these ones? Things that you need to follow or obey. They are rules, right? Mandatos. These are imperatives or commands. Salvadorian mothers love the commands, right? They say, callate. ¿Por qué te quedas callado? <laughs> you never know, right? <laughs> so, with the most popular command in Salvadorian houses, ponete las chanclas, ponete las jeans. That's yes, the most, celular. deja el celular, right? That is the most popular command, right? Hace la tarea. Go to school. Take a shower. Those are the most popular commands, right? So those are, that is the topic for tonight, right? And for sure, we are going to, we had the warm up, but it was the job interviews, the commands or the imperatives, the procedures, and a little bit of practice. What are the imperatives, right? And here I have a little definition for that. Can you help me to read imperatives? 
we can use imperatives to give orders and instructions. Read with me. We can use imperatives to give orders and instructions. We can use this we can use to give orders, and orders and instructions. Instructions. And instructions. instructions. We can use imperatives to give orders and instructions. An example wait quietly before class. Wait quietly before class. Wait quietly before class. Ok, ¿qué es ese mandato? ¿Qué significa ese primer mandato? Wait quietly before the class. Esperar en silencio ante la clase. Exactly. Be nice to your brother or sister. Be nice to your brother or sister. Be nice to your brother or sister. What is the meaning of that one? Como bueno con tus hermanos. Si te... De bueno con tus hermanos. Yeah, that's the nice, first. Nice is... <laughs> Cuando su mamá se iba para el mercado, right? Be nice to your brother or sister. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Así le decían a los míos. <laughs> <laughs> Be nice to your brother or sister. Yeah. Solo cerraba la puerta a su mamá. Y... <laughs> <laughs> Consentían a la bebé. <laughs> Don't forget your bag. Don't forget your bag. Don't forget your bag. Don't forget your bag. No olvidar hacer la cama o algo así. No, don't forget your bag. No olvides tu cartera, tu mochila. Don't forget your bag. Oh, okay, okay. No olvides tu bolso. Bolso. No olvides tu bolso. El mío back. verde, por eso no se mira. Don't forget, Don't forget your, bag. your bag. No olvidar. No olvidar. Or, for example, when you have an umbrella, cuando cargan sombrilla. Don't forget your umbrella. Ay, yes. Don't, Don't forget, forget your, your bag. Umbrella. Don't forget your umbrella. Don't forget your cell phone. Don't forget the keys. Que no se te olviden las llaves, right? Imperative verbs are also known as bossy verbs. Do you know what's the meaning of bossy? Boss. What is the meaning of boss? F. 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 Bossy? F. ¿Qué hace Como el mandar. jefe? ¿Qué hace el jefe? Manda. 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 Ajá. But if you say bossy verbs, como Man. verbos, mandones. Son los verbos mandones, right? Because they say, hace esto, hace aquello, no hagas esto, no hagas aquello. So those are the bossy verbs. ¿Alguno de ustedes es mandón o mandona? Ay, debe. Biones. No, no, no. Oh, teacher. No, no teacher. No, ya, mano. Yo a mi hija. Ajá. Hay que ser sincero. ¿Se consideran mandones? Yes. <laughs> en Ronald. Yes, Promedio. En ocasiones, Tiche. En sometimes, ocasiones. Sometimes. Tau, tau. Ajá. Y su esposo atrás. La <laughs> su esposo, su esposa atrás. Ayuda. Ayuda. Help me. Help me. Help me, please. Yeah. I consider myself bossy. Yes, I am very bossy. Yo sí soy bien man. Yeah. <laughs> no. I am very, I am very bossy. Yes, ah, my, my poor husband. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Mi boy. Sí que I am very bossy. But I am a teacher, right? I need to be bossy. So the imperatives are bossy verbs. But they are like, clean the house, open the windows, open the cell phone, do this, do that, da, da, da. They tell people what to do. They tell people what to do. For example, close the door, empty the bin, eat your dinner, cook the dinner, leave the cell phone, I empty the bin, vaciar el basurero, saca la basura, 
take out the garbage, right? Those are bossy verbs because they tell you what to do. And I have some examples right here. How do we use them? How do we use them? ¿Cómo los usamos? And this is important. The imperative is the same as the verb. We use the verb without you. The imperative forms, it is important to remember that they don't have a subject. Si se fijan, no tienen sujeto. ¿Por qué? Porque se los estamos diciendo directamente a la persona. And I say, si estoy hablando con Wendy, por ejemplo, y le digo, Wendy, don't forget your cell phone. No va a decirle a Wendy, a saber a quién le dijo. No, the, the comment is for you. So you have to, uh, you have to keep for sure, you have to obey the command and you know that it is for you. You don't need the subject. Ahí no le dice, Wendy, don't forget your bag. No, solo se le queda viendo y le dice, hey, don't forget your bag. Close the door, open the window, okay? So they don't have a subject. If I say, people, help your parents at home, play quietly, jueguen en silencio, okay? Help your parents at home, ayuden a sus papás en la casa. And this is in general, right? It's not, oh, students, please, no. For the negatives, we use, don't. Don't run in the corridors. Don't be late. Don't miss classes. Participate in class. Those will be the commands that you will make. Si yo le diría que hicieran reglas para la clase, ¿qué reglas pusieran? Only with the verbs. What? In the class. Uh -huh. Eat Diego? in the class. Eat in the class. Yeah. Like this. Comer in a class. <laughs> okay. Eat in class. Okay. Don't eat in class. Uh -huh. But teacher Rati will say, don't eat in class. Don't eat in class. I can say that it's okay. No, sin mentira. Si alguno de ustedes quiere comer algo durante la clase, tanto como que no se me distraiga, está bien. No va a poner a hacer carne ahí en media clase. <laughs> so, but you can eat something if you want. I mean, you'll be like, ah. yeah. si tiene hambre, no se concentra. So, please, tan pronto como no me desconcentre a nadie, yes. So, you say, don't eat in class. Drink water. Drink water in class. Do you think that this is a necessary command? ¿Creen que este sería un command necesario para una clase? Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes, we need water, teacher. It can be, right? Copy the class. Copy the class. That can be another one, right? That can be another one. And don't, what? Uh -huh, don't. Don't play in the class. Don't play in the class, right? Don't play during class. Mr. Ronald. Uh -huh. The Ronald no van a estar hablando. <laughs> <laughs> Don't play in class, right? Don't play in class. Another don't that you will have. Don't speak Spanish in class. Uh -huh. Don't speak Spanish in class. So no more Spanish in class. Don't speak Spanish. And you say, practice your English. Oh, pay attention in class. Pay attention in class. Very good. Walter, which is another one? Uh, keep the cameras on. Keep your cameras on. Beautiful. Keep your cameras on. Keep your cameras on, right? That is another one that you will make, right? Keep don't your... watch TV in the class. Don't watch TV during class, right? Don't watch TV during class. So I can see that you get the idea of the imperatives really well. 
right? Don't watch TV in class. Keep your cameras on, participate, okay? Don't distract during the class. Pay attention, download the manual, right? Those are many of the imperatives that we can use as part of the class. And if you want to be more polite, right? Si quieren ser aún mucho más amables usándolos, you can say, please, at the beginning or at the end of the sentence. Please put the plates on the table. Don't make so much noise, please. If you want to use these imperatives in a good, polite way, please don't play during the class. Please don't eat during class. Keep your cameras on, please. Okay, so that can be the polite way. ¿Qué significa polite? Amable. That can be the polite way. When you use please at the beginning or at the end of the sentence, okay? If you see that uh, your friend is always with the cell phone and you say, can you leave the cell phone, please? Can you leave the cell phone, please? Not like that, okay? Be nice and polite. Come here, <laughs> okay? Como su mamá cuando le decía, we need to talk. And the difference is like, we are going to talk when we get home. Ah, y se le, oh my God. Ya vamos a hablar, le decía. Vamos a hablar cuando lleguemos a la casa. That's different, right? So please use the please in a nice way. Don't be, don't be like that. I have a short example right here. And I have a little reading. And we are going to go on true and false. We are going to do it as a group today. The first one, we're going to do it as a group. And it says, at school, at school, our teacher gave us a lot of instructions. Put your hand up to answer. Put your hand up to answer. Don't sit down. Come here. Speak in English, please. Don't play with your phone. Close your books now, please. Don't forget to do your homework. We have to listen very carefully. Okay, ¿cuáles son los comments que les dan normalmente en clase? Put your hand up to answer. Put your hand up to answer. What is the next one? Don't sit down. Come here. What is the next one? Speak in English, please. Speak in English, please. The next one? Don't play. Don't play. The phone. The next one? Don't play. Close your book. Close your book. Close your books Close now. Your book now. And the next one? Don't, Don't forget. forget. Don't forget to do. Your, your homework. homework. To do your homework. They have to listen. Be careful. Very careful. Okay. So it says, his teacher gives them lots of instructions. Yes. Yes. Because it says at school, our teacher give us lots of instructions. Aquí lo tiene. Okay. The next one. The teacher wants them to put their hand down. Yes. False. False. Why? False. Because down. False. <laughs> because down. <laughs> False. Why? Put your hand up. Because hand up. the teacher yeah. wants them to put the hand up, not up. the hand down. So in this case, this one is? False. 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 What about the next one? ¿Cuál es la siguiente oración? Teachers, teachers want, want to speak to Spanish. Spanish. False. 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 False.
The teacher wants them to open their books. Close your the books now. Opening their book. The teacher wants them to close their books. And the last close one. Your book. The teacher wants them, teacher wants them to, to do, do their homework. homework. It's true, right? Because they say, don't forget, don't forget. to do your homework. Don't forget to do your homework. Very good job. So here we go. I need one volunteer, please. Is it un voluntario? Put your hand up if you want to participate. <laughs> only one, only one. Johnny's, let's go. Johnny's, help me to read the paragraph, please. Uh, this uh, one. All the paragraph. Yes. At the school, at the school, or teacher gives a uh, use lot of instructions. Put your hands up to answer. Don't sit down. Come here. Speak in English. Please don't play with your phone. Close your book now. Please don't forget to do your homework. We have to listen very carefully. Very good job. Thank you, Janice. Excellent participation. Right? Say instructions, right? Instructions. Let's see. Carla Patricia, thank you very much. Carlita, help me to read the paragraph. Carlita. Sorry, teacher. Uh, repeat, please. Can you read the paragraph, please? ¿Nos puedes ayudar a leer el párrafo, please? Had a school or teacher. Hey, high school love of us instructions. Put your hand up to answer. Don't sit down. Come here. Speak in English, please. Don't play with your phone. Close your books now, please. Don't forget to do, to do your homework. We have to listen very carefully. Thank you very much. We have to listen very carefully. You say, don't sit down. Come here. Speak in English, please. Don't play with your phone. Close your books now, please. Don't forget to do your homework. Mr. Ronald Ulises, go ahead. La tos, la tos se puso de voluntaria. Jamás. Uh, at the school, our teacher gives just lots of instruction. Put your hands up to answer. Don't sit down. Come here. Speak in English, please. Don't play with your phone. Close your books now, please. Don't forget to do your homework. We have to listen very carefully. We have to listen very carefully. The pronunciation, instructions, instructions. At school, our teacher give us lots of instructions. Put your hand up to answer. Don't sit down, come here. Speak in English, please. Don't play with your phone. Close your books now, please. Don't forget to do your homework. We have to listen very carefully. Mr. Christian, go ahead. Okay. At school, our teacher give us lots of instruction. Put your hand up to answer. Don't sit down. Come here. Speak in English, please. Don't play with your phone. Close your book now. Please, don't forget to do your homework. We have to listen very carefully. Okay, instructions, right? Instructions. Hasta que alguien me lo diga perfecto, lo vamos a dejar. Uh, let's go with Janira Isabel. Remember, instructions, carefully. Instructions. Janira. At school, our teachers give us lot of instruction. Put 
put your hand up to answer. Don't don't sit down. Come here. Speak in English, please. Don't play with your phone. Close your book now, please. Don't forget to to do your homework. We have to list listen every carefully, carefully, carefully. Our teacher gives us lots of instructions. Okay, ¿qué hacemos si no sabemos cómo se pronuncia algo? Answer. Ask, why right? you ask? Teacher, how do you pronounce? Teacher, how do you pronounce? Any question on pronunciation, people? Don't forget, right? Don't forget. Don't sit down. Come here. Huh? Questions on pronunciation? Nadie? Seguimos. Okay, Mr. Edwin Gallegos. Vamos. At school, our teacher gives us a lot of instruction. Put your hand up to answer. Don't sit down. Come here. And speak English. Please. Speak English, please don't play with with your phone. Close your book now. Please don't forget to do your homework. We have to listen very care careful, fully, carefully. Carefully, okay. Remember, we use the sentences up to the period, right? Put your hand up to answer. Don't sit down, come here, right? Speak in English, please. Don't play with your phone. Close your books now, please. Don't forget to do your homework. We have to listen very carefully. Let's see, Mr. Diego Jose. Instructions, okay? Instruction, no, instructions. Vamos, Diego. At the school, our teacher gives us love of instruction. Put your hand up to answer. Don't sit down. Come here. Speak English, please. Don't play with your phone. Close your book now, please. Don't forget to do your homework. We have to listen very carefully. Very carefully, okay? Very carefully. Listen to the pronunciations. Lo voy a leer por última vez. At school, our teacher gives us lots of instructions. Put your hand up to answer. Don't sit down. Come here. Speak in English, please. Don't play with your phone. Close your books now, please. Don't forget to do your homework. We have to listen very carefully. Okay. ¿Quién cree que lo puede hacer sin equivocarse? Walter, go ahead. And Karen, okay. <laughs> At the school, at the school, our teacher gives us a lot of instructions. Put your hand up to hangers. Don't sit down. Come here. Speak in English, please. Don't play with your phone. Close your books now. Please don't forget forget to do your homework. We have to listen very carefully. Okay, good, good. Instructions, instructions, okay? Remember that. Karencita, vamos, vamos a ver. At school, our teacher gives, gives us a lot of instructions. Put your hands up to answer. Don't slip down, come here. Speak English, please. Don't play with your phone. Close your books now, please. Don't forget to do your homework. We have to listen with careful. Very careful. Very, eh? very careful. <laughs> very good job, Karen. You see, Karen, you did a fantastic job. Okay. 
Hasta que alguien lo hiciera perfecto y vamos a continuar. Very good job, Karen. Very nice. So here you have the answers, right? As uh, we were talking, you say like they don't want to put the hands down. They want to put it up. Don't speak Spanish. Speak English. The teacher wants them to close their books and the teacher wants them to do their homework. That is the uh, correct answer. So if we want to make imperative sentences with these clues, how would you make them? En el primero tenemos, uh, please pass me the salt. What about the next one? That's hunger. Okay. Si se fijan, ¿cuál es la que tiene mayúscula? Answer. 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 So you are going to Answer. start with? Answer. 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 Answer what? The, the door, door, please. The door, please. The door, please. Answer the door, please. What is the, what is the meaning of this? When you say answer the door. No es que la puerta te esté preguntando, right? Answer the door, it means that there's a person knocking on the door. And you say like, I'm coming. And in good Salvadorian, you say, ¿Quién? Buscan. And they say, yo. And you open. Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, yo le voy a abrir. Good one, right? What about the next one? How would you make the next one? Don't forget your lunch. Don't forget your lunch. Your lunch. Don't forget your lunch. What about the next one? Speak, speak for me. English. Speak in, in English. English. In English. Please. Please. Speak in English, please. What about the next one? Please wait, wait for, for, me. Me. for me. Please wait, wait for, for me. Wait for me. wait for me, right? Don't leave me. What about the next one? Play you. Play you. Play with your sisters nicely. Play with your sister nicely. nicely. Okay, play with your sister nicely. Okay. okay, play with your sister nicely because, okay, I voy con la siguiente explicación. Because here the sentence will be play nicely with your sister. Okay, so you say play nicely with your, your sister. sister. That's the way we have to make the sentence. Playing tranquilos, okay? What about the next one? Don't speak with you. Speak. Don't speak with your mouth. Don't speak with your mouth. Don't speak with your mouth. Mouth. It's like, imagine that you are in the middle of a pupuseada, right? And you have the pupusa there, and you're like, hur, 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 hur. you want to talk, and you have a lot of food. So you say, don't speak with your mouth full. No hables con la boca llena. Yeah. And what about the last one? Please. Please. Don't. 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 <laughs> Please don't throw oh. your food. Please don't throw your food. Please don't throw your food. No tires la comida. Please don't throw your food. So, as you can see here, si se fijan, ninguno lleva sujeto. Right? Todos comienzan con el verbo. Solo en el caso de please, right? And the negatives that you use don't. Right? So that is a way to recognize the different imperatives. Please pass me the salt. Answer the door, please. Don't forget your lunch. Speak in English, please. Please wait for me. Play nicely with your sister. Don't speak with your mouth full. 
please don't throw your food. So those are examples of the imperatives, okay? Play nicely with your sister. There you have the answers. Okay, so I need you to help me correct these ones. The first one, remember that you use don't. En todos los imperativos ocupamos don't. You don't say please doesn't be late. Aquí no se ocupa doesn't. Aquí para todos los imperativos ocupamos don't. Please don't be late. ¿Qué corregiríamos de la segunda? Ajá. Because you don't use a subject, right? Play the game quietly, please. What about the next one? Uh -huh. ¿Qué corregirían de la siguiente? Um, pudding. Pudding. Um, Why, Ronald? No sería put. Uh -huh, because you need to use the verb put. in its normal form, right? Put on your shoes now, please. Put on your shoes now, please. Okay, put on, okay, separate, please, separenlo. Put on your shoes now, please. Put on your shoes now, please. What about the next one? Uh -huh. I was listening to someone speaking like that. Your? Your? Dog. Two. 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 Mm -hmm. Yes. So you say, please do your Good. homework. Exactly like that. No ocupamos el infinitivo, right? What about the next one? Fighting. 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 Fighting, right? Fighting. No usamos el ING, ocupamos el verbo en su forma normal. Don't right. fight with your brother. Don't fight oh. with your brother. What about the next one? <laughs> these two or these two? <laughs> don't two. Don't uh -huh, don't two. Don't, don't, forget, don't forget, forget sis. Don't forget don't forget to turn off your microphone. <laughs> Close. Okay. Fue un momento bien salvadoreño ese. Don't forget to bring your project, right? Hasta voy a ver el video de la clase para ver quién fue. Don't forget to bring your project. And the next one. Do. 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 Do this exercise again, please. And the last one. Dos. Doesn't because you don't use doesn't. You use don't. No, don't no, no. shout out in class. What is the meaning of shout out? Shout out. Como tirar. Shout out. Disparar. Cállense. No, no, no. Cállense. Shout ah. out. Don't shout out in class. It's like, imagine that you say, like, Rana, mira, ma, ta, 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 ta. don't shout out <laughs> in <laughs> class. Yeah, <laughs> don't no shout gritar. out. No gritar in class. Teacher, <laughs> <laughs> no, don't do that in class, please. I can listen to you perfectly. There is no need to do it, right? <laughs> yo, teacher, nati, yo. No, don't shout out in class. Be nice and quiet, okay? So those are the examples. Please don't be late. Play the game quietly. Put on your shoes now. Please do your homework. Don't fight with your brother. Don't forget to bring your project and do this exercise again. And for sure, don't shout in class. Well, my dear students, we are going to stop here today. 
And tomorrow, I need you to be on time, be in class, and don't miss classes, okay? <laughs> Those are the imperative forms for tomorrow. Have a beautiful night, sleep well, and I'm going see to see you tomorrow. You tomorrow. <laughs> good night. Good night. Good night tomorrow. Bye. 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 <laughs> Tranquila, Carlos. <laughs> bye, bye. <laughs> bye. 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 <laughs> see you. Bye. See you later.